In this video, we're going to talk about something really simple, but also very powerful. The right ways to move and select. I'd like to start this one actually from scratch, so that we go from the beginning to the end of it. Let's launch Excel and create a new file, new workbook. Okay, I am, I'm interested in a blank workbook, so I'm going to click on the blank workbook option. All right, before uh, we talk about moving and selecting, and when I say moving, moving around the spreadsheet and uh, moving your active cell, which I do right now by, by clicking, I'm going to create a sample file. We have not used any sample files. I want to create one, one from scratch. So I'm going to click on cell A1 and put a little title. Moving and selecting. And uh, I also want to rename the sheet. Right now it's named sheet 1. To rename, you simply double click on the sheet name and type in your own name and hit enter key. So moving and selecting. That's going to be the name of the sheet. I'm going to hit enter to accept my changes. Now I simply need some sample data, so I'm going to make it really, really easy. Really, really simple stuff. Nothing. We're not focusing on the content, so I'm going to put... Let me start in A4. Salesperson 1. Control enter. And I'm going to fill some row labels here. So I'm going to have some row labels. It's up to 10, 10 salespeople. And uh, for column labels, I will put uh, quarters. Quarter one, control enter. And simply click and drag. I want four quarters. Now I'd like to fill some numbers. I'm going to use the same number. I'm, I'm, I'm going to select and selecting uh, that most people most people select by uh, clicking and dragging. That's what I did here. I click and drag to select here. And I'm gonna uh, type something. But before I type uh, something in there, I want to point your attention that um, uh, when you select, the selection is kind of gray shading. It's a little bit, you know, different shading, gray shading. But one of the cells is white, a little lighter. So what that means, that is the active cell. In Excel, if you select, you have multiple cells selected, but if you, um, but only one of those cells always active at any po point in time. So, and sure enough, if you look at uh, the name box right here, it shows you the active cell, which is cell B4 right now at this point. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to simply type some number, 8, 9, 7, doesn't really matter, and hold control and press enter. Now, I want to draw your attention to what happened. When you have a selection, you have, and you type something in the active cell, when you hold control and press enter, you're entering the same value into, the, into all of the selected cells. So no matter how many cells you have selected, you do control enter, you are entering the same information. It is about the same as copying the information, creating a value in a cell, typing in a value, and then copying it. Okay, I want to create actually a couple of, um, a couple of these areas. So I have some fake data here, salesperson on the left-hand side and quarters as column titles. I'm going to select the whole thing now, and I can do it by clicking and dragging. So most people click and drag. You can click and drag from top, from the first cell to the last cell. You can click from the last cell to the first cell. But there are some other ways to do that. For example, you can click on the first cell and then hold Shift key and click on the last cell. That will, would select all of the cells in between. This is a standalone range, a range of data, or so-called current region. If I click on click inside, it's called current region. 
So there are other ways to select it. I can select it by using Control A shortcut. See how easy it is? You just click inside your current region, Control A. Or there's another shortcut, Control Shift asterisk. And when I say asterisk, I mean the key that is eight in the number row. So you do Shift asterisk, Control Shift asterisk. So click. Control Shift asterisk. All right, I'm going to copy that a few times. I, I would like to have several ranges for this exercise. To copy, I do Control C copy, or officially it's a copy command uh, on Home tab. You click copy, but I simply do Control C as uh, that's easier. I'm going to click on H3 now and do Control V, which is paste. And I'm going to do uh, click, click on, no, I'm done, going to do a few of them. I'm going to click on A17, paste. And I'm going to click on H17 and paste again. When you copy in Excel, you notice that there are marching ends around the selection that you're copying or the marquee effect. In Excel, that means copy active, copy active. And to clear copy active, I need to hit escape key. OK, we'll get back to different copying techniques. But for now, let's uh, think about movement, how we move inside Excel. Well, clicking, we already know that. You click, you move your active cell. Well, most people also use arrow keys, left, right, up and down arrow keys. Most people use page up, page down. If you do page up, page down, then uh, depending on the zoom level, your screen moves up or down. Uh, and uh, it really does depend on the zoom level. If you, if you zoom in, then uh, you go less than, you know, if you zoom, zoom out, you, to give you an example, let's say I zoom in now, I have 12 rows visible at least now I have 10 rows visible. If I do page down, a row 11 becomes the first row that is at the top. Now that row 20 is the last most visible row, uh, the fully visible row. Now I'm going to, if I go, if I do page down again, oops, let me do it again. So I start from, uh, let's say cell A1. I do page down, row 11. The last row now is, is 20. If I do page down again, it's row 21 that shows at the top. So page up, page down depends on the zoom level. You can also do Alt page down and page up. It does the same thing horizontally. So you can move horizontally by holding Alt key and uh, using uh, page up or page down keys on your keyboard. Now, arrow keys, uh, page up, page down, control home will take you all the way to cell A1, beginning of your document, beginning, beginning of your spreadsheet. Control end will take you to the last cell where you actually worked. It doesn't take you all the way to the end of the uh, end of space, so so to speak. Now there are additional techniques. You can also use Control Arrow key, and I use it a lot actually. Try to use Control Arrow keys. Uh, like see what happens on my screen when I use Control. Like right now, my active cell is in cell E4, and if I do Control Arrow key down, I actually move to the last available. Uh, cell in this range to the last r cell with data in this range. If I do it again, control arrow again, I go to the next range of data. I'm skipping all the blank cells and I can do it again. Go to the last range and do the last cell of, uh, of this range. And if I run out of data and I do control arrow key down, I go all the way to the last available row in Excel. And in this version, it is 1,048,576. Now, you don't need to remember that. I'm going to do it again. Control arrow up takes me to the first 
cell with data and control arrow up again to the last cell with data in that range and so on. You can use control arrow keys to move between edges of data, edges of the range of data, or to the next range, range of data. Now, it is really important to know different ways to move active cell because any way that you move your active cell can be selection if you hold shift key. Shift key and movement is always selection. So like I showed you already that if you click on one cell, hold shift and click on another cell, you're selecting everything in between. Well, if you click on a cell, hold shift and use arrow keys, you are expanding the selection. Expanding the selection, really easy. If you um, click on a cell, hold shift key and use control arrow down, it will go all the way down, meaning it will select all the way down to the end of the range of data. If you do control shift arrow to the right, you will be selecting to the end of data of your data on the right hand side. And so on. These are alternative ways to select. Uh, holding shift, control arrow right, for example. Now I selected the whole row of uh, data in this range. If I do it again, control shift arrow right, I go to the first cell with data and so on. So different ways to move are also the ways to select if you hold the shift key. Click, shift, click, shift arrow keys. You can also use shift uh, page down. Now I don't really like that method because I kind of don't feel I have control, but it certainly is an option. To select a standalone range of data, we already know control A and control shift asterisk. Very important shortcuts. You often will have to do that. Now, uh, a little bit about control A. Control A, if you do it more than once, let's say I do control A once, and I'm in the range of data, I select the range. If I do it again, control A, it actually selects the whole sheet everything, all the million, 48,000, whatever, rows and all the columns. Control A in this case functions just like clicking on this square button right here. So this is select all button. If you click on that button, you will select the whole sheet. And Control A will actually will select, it's, it will select the whole sheet if you are not in a range of data. If you outside of the range of data, like now I click on this cell here, which is not part of any data range, and I do control A now, I'm selecting the whole sheet. So control, control A, select all, select everything. A couple more things on selecting. Clicking on the column letter selects the whole column all the way down. I, I, I don't think it's the best way to select uh, selecting the whole column, but once in a while you need to select the whole column. So you click on the letter and it will select. You click on the uh, row number and you will select the whole row, all of the columns in the row. Click on the row number. Now there are some other ways to do that. If you do control space, it's a shortcut, control space, you are selecting the column. Now, if you are doing shift space, holding shift and pressing the space bar, you are selecting the row. So control space, select the column, shift space, select the row. Sometimes you are on, on a row, you want to select the whole thing. You don't want to click on the same row number. You just do shift space. Or sometimes you want to select the column, you just do control space. And uh, it works quite nicely, actually. Well, I think that covers um, the various uh, movement and selection techniques. And like I said, most people click and drag or simply click to move the active cell. But if you know more methods to do that, you become more productive and uh, Excel becomes easier if you are utilizing easier methods 
and you don't have to click as much if you're using the keyboard so your carpal tunnel is happy and uh, people around you think that you know what you are doing if you are using the keyboard. So there are multiple benefits to discovering different options and selecting the best option to perform a certain action. So before you move to the next video, uh, just experiment, select, click and drag, click, shift, click, move around with shift or without shift, uh, explore, be curious, and I will see you in the next video.